Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls for Dummies, the only series we show you everything you need to know for your Dark Souls 3 playthrough. So, you just made it past Fair and Keep, and now you're on to the Abyss Watchers. So, the things we're going to bring into this fight are going to be the Raw Sword Straight Sword Plus 3, the Lloyd Sword Ring, the Covetous Silver Serpent Ring, the Estus Ring, and of course your normal Pine Resin and Pine Bundles. With that said, let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, when you enter the boss room, you'll be greeted by the first fish washer, so go ahead and apply the resin. Go ahead and smack him around with some R1s. For the beginning phase of this fight, you're going to want to be sticking with R1s for the vast majority, so keep that in mind. There are a couple of times throughout the fight where you will be able to use backstabs as well, such as his combos. So go ahead and grab those whenever you can. Okay, once you, uh, after about 15 seconds, a second Abyss Watcher will spawn. He will try to kill you as well. So you're just gonna run away from him, and then a third one will spawn with red eyes, and he will attack you and the boss. So try and kite him towards the boss, then they'll start fighting each other. That will keep him distracted for long enough for you to get in a couple of quick hits on the boss. Try and keep everything under control, make sure the red guy stays alive long enough for you to do DPS against the main boss. Then you're just going to repeat this cycle for the rest of the phase. So let's just get a couple more quick hits on him. When he goes for that combo, like I said, go ahead and try and line up a backstab if you can. There we go. Combo again. Line it up. Backstab. Perfect. Second Abyss Watcher is rising, so I got to kill this guy fast. And we're good. Okay. This will start a cutscene and initiate the second phase. For the second phase, his sword will gain an after effect, which gives it fire damage. And so he'll be doing a little bit extra damage, but he will not have his compadres. But uh, please note that uh, your roll timing will have to be a little bit more delayed and a little bit more precise than the first phase. When he goes for the slam attack, another beautiful time to go for the backstab. So go ahead and go for that. Then when he's standing up, try and get him with some R1s. Then when he goes for that slide attack, the trail of fire will follow after him about three-fourths of a second after. So just be mindful of that. Then, like I said, combo happens. Go for that backstab, maybe a charge R2 in there, then follow up with an R1. That'll generally do some pretty big damage to the boss. Smack him around a couple more times, making sure to watch for those fire after effects and finish them off. And that is how you beat the Abyss Watchers using a knight. Now that you know how to beat the uh, Abyss Watchers using a knight, I'm going to show you how to beat them using a mage. So first things first, the things you're going to want for this fight are your sword, your staff, then the ring setup you're going to be using is the Young Dragon Ring, the Aldrich Sapphire to make it so you get FP back from backstabs, the Estus Ring, and the Lloyd Sword Ring. Also, as far as the spells you're going to want to use today, you're going to want the Great Heavy Soul Arrow, the Heavy Soul Arrow, the Great Magic Weapon, the Great, and the Great Farron Dart. So, before we go into the fight, go ahead and just buff your staff, then go ahead and cra cast Great Magic Weapon. And then just hop on into the fight. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do here is bait a backstab. So, you're just going to roll past him, get that backstab in, switch to the great heavy solero, lock on and cast. And normally you'll be able to land that unless you didn't switch fast enough like I did. There you go, get another backstab, line up that great heavy solero, cast immediately and then you will normally land it. There are some attacks you can do that will make it so it will not land, but it's a pretty safe bet that after a backstab you will land the Great Heavy Soul Arrow. Okay, once he sends in his little buddy, try and get some distance, and try and snipe him with the Great Heavy Soul Arrow. If you can hit him, it will kill him pretty much immediately. So that's very nice to have. Then after that, you just start sniping away. Then you can go ahead and heal and drink another Ashen Estus and start phase two. Okay, going into the second phase, you're gonna to wanna to do pretty much the same thing as first phase. Go ahead and rebuff your staff, then try and recast Great Magic Weapon whenever you feel that you have the time to do so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that now. Then after you do that, you're gonna go ahead and try and bait for those backstabs once again. 
and try and get those great heavy soul arrows out after each backstab. So, let's see, he's going for the swing attack. Let's see if we can get him to do a combo. It's always best to try and get the uh, backstabs in after a combo. Especially his spinning combos are very punishable. So this one, for instance, you can just roll out of it. And you can normally get around, get that backstab. And then you can lock on, try and go for that great heavy soul arrow, unless you miss like I did. Another great backstab is that slam attack. So always try and punish that slam attack and then cast immediately. Then, if you ever need to heal, just try and get some distance from him. Then normally your Estus will do more healing than he can do damage with one hit, so it's pretty much always safe to heal. But it is better if you do not take a hit. So just try and wait for one last combo, maybe two more combos if he, he feels like he wants a little bit of extra health today. There we go, big hit. Send another one of those great heavy soul arrows out. Then from there, you can probably just finish him off with your sword. It's going for that slam. Finish him off with that last backstab. Probably can send out a great Farron dart at that point. And he's dead. And that is how you beat the Abyss Watchers using a knight and a mage. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and subscribe to continue getting back to the basics.